Well, guys, almost five years later, the old girl, the old tundra is gone. Uh, just waiting on the final paperwork here now, but this beautiful truck of mine is on its way to a dealer. I have finalized 95% of what I need to end up with a 2012 Dodge 3500 Cummins. So there will be no more complaining of when I'm towing that, <laughs> that life is not going to be happy. Uh, ended up working out too. I got some wheels that I've had for this for the last year. They are going out on Sunday. They're sold. Kind of just a bittersweet moment. I'll do a bit of a walk around. So this is the old girl. It's a 2007 Toyota Tundra Limited. It is just leveled, guys. Anybody that thinks this truck is lifted, the only thing that's lifted is the front. So if you end up with this truck, call me because I have custom valving on this. Icon coilovers up front and uh, it's running a JBA upper control arm. Uh, some Method TR701s wrapped in Wild Peak 285-75-17s. These tires have been awesome and I will likely end up with the truck. The new truck is going to end up on a pair. This was a 5.7 truck, V8. Never complained about power. Only complaint I ever had was actually fuel mileage. Overall, guys, this truck has served me well for the last five years, but it's time to move on to bigger and better things. Uh, currently just working on removing the toolbox and garbage out of the back because uh, they don't want that. Nobody wants that. So, needless to say, guys, the era is over. The Tundra is officially likely gone. Uh, just hit me up that I realize. And I need my new stickers. But that said, I got a new logo on the way. With that, I might do a limited, like, of 20 t-shirts or something. A couple guys have asked me for t-shirts. Um, it, it'll be... I'm not going to make any money off of it, guys. Likely just going to cover the costs, so... So yeah, stay tuned. The rest of the video here is this one's going to be a quick one. Uh, I do have some steel in here. And this is so I can get a winch mounted permanently on the trailer. So that video is coming up. Uh, hopefully, they go pick the trailer up tonight. And then I can actually start working on it this weekend. So I'll chat with you guys soon. Oh, yeah. And Chew's beautiful laser is on the road again. So For like a month ago. I love this color. And uh, it should be a hint that the color choice of that car is very close to something coming to this channel very soon. Well, it's done. We're on our way to Edmund Chuck at the moment to get the uh, deal finalized. And uh, the wife's going to hold the camera here. It kind of works. Um, yeah, we're just on our way. We're actually well over halfway and Gabby says me too on our way to Freedom Ford managed to work out a deal with them to get everything all said and done so put the phone down put the phone down I guess I'll see you Joy what? Yeah, I know it's the they don't need to see you holding a phone in my face I know and then I have it down here okay sorry I'll uh good old interesting times. So a little bit of a tidbit, if you are <laughs> grabbing your registration, I grabbed the trailer registration. The wife opens it up. The dealer said, hey, can you send me a picture of your registration? And then we have all the documents in place. Yeah, not a problem. Didn't have the right registration. So Tyler went down to the house, got the insurance and registration pictures for me that I needed. And <laughs> we're back on our road. We're still continuing forward. So I don't have a copy of it. Luckily, Alberta has been really good about saying, yeah, we're gonna start allowing digital registration and insurance cards because they realize that it's cutting down on paper. So that is, guys, so we should be at Freedom Ford here in the next hour, half hour to an hour, and getting the truck and starting to show a couple of little things about it. So I hope you guys enjoy, and we'll talk to you soon. Hey guys.
guys, we are at Freedom Ford in Edmonton, Alberta. I did not realize how many trucks they had here. We're uh, just pulling up here. It's a bit of an older dealership. It's for service and appointments, go through the main entrance. So I'm guessing that the main dealer's over off. And it's been a while since I've been to Edmonton. It's actually four vehicle and in a day. Last time I was at Edmonton, I pulled in and it was dark. So. We're just pulling up, hoping to see my truck up for this corner kind of here. Lots of Ford Raptors. So we're gonna, I'm gonna sneak in here, grab my sales lady, and start the process of getting the truck all uh, in my name. So anyways, talk to you soon. Guys, this looks good. Oh, I'm sold. Oh, I'm sold. They had me sold before I even got here, but I'm sold. Guys, we have taken delivery. I would have done a bit of a dealer walk around, but honestly, I don't want to make dealers upset. So we just didn't do one there. I'll do one when I have an opportunity. Um, I can tell you, uh, first impressions is I'm definitely going to need to put a muffler on. Uh, the wife has, the wife says, you're one of those douches. And now. You know, if you know what that means, you know that the exhaust is that loud diesel grumble rumble and that's oh you know what we're at Argyle so I'll go to 91st um that's fine for now I'll deal with the sound as we get there they took the front brow tints off which I'm very happy with I'm likely going to get the one for the AS1 uh so I could stay in the legal limits but anyways we'll be back um this has a lot more jam than my Tundra, like, a lot. <laughs> well guys, there is our truck. I got a right turn signal, I just picked it up. The right turn signal's burnt out. It looks like it's in the rear. No, the rear's flashing too. So likely it's a flasher module because it sees an LED in the system, I'm guessing, in the rear. I'll have to do a bit of I'll uh, hook a uh, app car up. I haven't launched that video yet because I hadn't done anything worthy of it yet. But overall, guys, I'm very happy. And I get the wife to turn the key on. Turn it over. And yes, it is a 2012 Dodge Ram 30. 500 with a 6.7. It's currently sitting on some moto metal wheel and some brand new Delinte DX10 285 6020. It's got a 5 inch exhaust and uh, full EFI live tuning. It, I found a DSP switch, so now I'm a little bit more curious on it. I'm gonna have to figure out this turn signal issue. They do work. They just flash a little fast. Uh, likely Apcar, I can turn the diagnostics. I don't know if you guys know about Apcar, but Apcar is uh, Dodge's uh, version of this, like, four scan. So I'll probably be able to turn the LED portion of it on, so that way it detects that, as long as that option's in there. But overall, guys, I'm very happy with this purchase. I hope you guys really like the color. I'll do a full walkthrough here in a little bit more of a closed setting. So, I hope I don't get any trouble over this. Ah, uh, realized leaving town, a couple things that I wanted, I likely want to change when I get home with the laptop to fix the uh, fast blink. Likely just need to turn on the uh, LED portion on the, with the uh, app car diag. Realized I forgot my OBD2 Bluetooth module, my good one. I have or had a command start system that I could access my phone, my truck with my phone. So I just went back. Luckily the truck was in the fresh trade lot. So. Well guys, it's the next day. Had my ears lowered today. I got tired of feeling so homely. So, quite a bit shorter. Gonna do a bit of a walk around on the truck. As far as what is I know what's up with on with the truck and uh, we'll go from there.
This is my 2012 3500 6.5 Cummins. Uh, I opted to go a little bit older. I didn't quite want new. To be honest, I don't want the new truck payments. So this one will go uh, pretty quick. Stay, la stay with me for a while. It is deleted. It has a 5 inch MBRP straight exhaust, straight through exhaust. There's no cats, nothing, no DPF, no muffler. Likely speaking, let me zoom out. Likely speaking, I'll end up putting a uh, a uh, muffler on. As you can tell, it's very sharp. He could basically call it teal, or some people say Tiffany blue. It's got a set of rigid fog lights. Uh, it did have a light bar, but it is no longer there when I was looking at it. So it's all good. Not a huge ordeal. It's got some metal moto wheels on it and some Chinese Delint tires. Uh, interior wise, fully limited model, back to trailer brake. It's got everything we could need. One small issue that came up on the way home was a tire imbalance. So I'll end up having Tyler take a look at that as we're going through in the next week or two. Again, so as you can tell, it has uh, some kind of cold air intake. That's fine. It's got an EGR delete. If you can see that back there. It's, yeah, it's a nice little setup. It's a little bit of a stainless bracket here holding everything together. AC blows cold. Looks like a, it's got stock intake manifold that's for, uh, yeah, I guess you call that intake manifold. Fine by me. Overall, guys, I'm very happy with it. It's not perfect, but when I'm buying used, I don't expect perfect. Uh, it's got 180,000 K on the clock. She is tall. It's sitting on a three inch block kit. Block uh, kit, you can tell. Rancho shocks, front and rear. And uh, uh, see if we can get underneath some rough, so likely it is a rough country kit. It's got rough country steering stabilizers up front, dual. And then uh, I placed an order for some EMF ball joints already. So I'm gonna be getting EMF ball joints up front uh, I don't know what else to say about the guy truck guys it's got LED fogs or LED lights in the rear it's just it's a nice truck uh, it was sharp it is fully loaded it's got fifth wheel rails in it already some minor damage here and there not too too concerned uh, for the radio guys I'm gonna order a third brake light mount setup so I can put my NMO up on the top and then I'm gonna run a can for an antenna. I still gotta figure out how I'm gonna install the radio. I hope you guys enjoy the truck. I really enjoy the color. I tell you you can't drive very far without people staring at you. So anyways I hope you guys enjoy. There'll be lots of content to come and uh, with this uh, I guess it gets me into the diesel life. So if you guys got any advice for me let me know. This is my first Cummins uh, six-speed truck. First Cummins in general, I did have my Grand Cherokee Eco Diesel for a short period that I shattered the oil pan on. If you haven't watched that video, maybe give it a shot. One of my first videos, I was just learning, still learning guys, every day is a learning experience with this thing, so. Anyways. Guys, right, not much else to say guys. It's a beautiful Sunday morning. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Makes me look like a balding. <laughs> not much else to say guys. I'm. Just kind of get to enjoy the day, spend some time with the family. I gotta go visit Tyler and his family. We're gonna go take a look at the tree progress. Probably film a little bit of it. We'll see, maybe, I don't know. Uh, yeah, a couple of the small things I'm gonna get ordered up over the next couple of days. We'll do a radio install video. I'm gonna order some parts for it. Uh, and we'll go from there. That'll be one of the first things I do is my getting my ham radio. Some people will, what, why would you even want to put that in right away? Well. I enjoy having my ham radio. Sometimes I don't even like having the radio, so. And then like I said, I'm gonna do a CAN uh, multi-band antenna, so. Anyways, take her easy. Let me know what you like, what you think. Let me know what you guys think I should do.